Hey YouTube, Free California here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make your own custom stencils for your rifle painting project. In this video, I will be using the tiger stripe pattern from my Duracoat aerosol video on the Mosin Nagant. However, this process will apply to anything that you can print out of your computer. So let's go ahead and flip down to the table, and I will show you everything that you need. Okay, so as you can see here on the left, I have our pattern printed out on just a regular sheet of printer paper. I have a printable sticker paper here on the right. This one in particular is made by Cricut or Cricut. And then I also have a stick of glue. Any glue stick will work just fine. And then a cutting instrument. Uh, in the past I have used just a traditional razor blade uh, type knife, like a box cutter. Uh, but this is a little bit easier to maneuver, especially when you're doing the tight corners and stuff on the pattern. So this is everything that you'll need to get started on the most basic level. However, if you do know somebody who has a special Cricut or Cricut brand printer, then you will actually be able to print out the design right on the printable sticker paper. However, with a regular printer, I was not able to do that, and that's why I ended up printing this out. So let's go ahead and move on to the actual process of getting things going and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take your glue stick and apply a generous layer of glue to the printable sticker paper and also to the back side of the printed out pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you could probably also use a spray glue aerosol. Uh, However, I have not tried that, so if somebody else has some, give it a shot and maybe post down in the comments how that worked out for you. Really the most important part is getting along these edges because that will help keep things in place. All right, so then we'll go ahead and apply our two papers here. And then, fortunately with this glue, it's not like an immediate stick thing, so you can kind of work the paper around a little bit to make it line up as best as possible with the edges. And then I like to take something like a notepad or a credit card or something like that and just kind of push out the air bubbles to get a really nice tight fit. Alright, so now we're ready for the next part which will be cutting. And this is the most strenuous, longest part of this video. Uh, it's just a, a pain to do in the fact that it just takes a long time. And after you do a couple of them, you know, your hand might start hurting a little bit, but it's all right. You just kind of keep pushing through and you'll be surprised how far these stencils go once you get everything cut out. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out one of these here on the, the video just to show you guys how to do that part. And then I'll show you what a finished stencil looks like once it's cut out. And just note that it doesn't have to be perfect either. Once it's actually painted on the rifle, you know, nobody is going to know the difference whether it was supposed to be just a little bit different than the way you cut it out.
kind of work it out. You know, there's going to be some minor spots that you miss, and you might have to just come back and give it a little nick. So obviously, you know, you can definitely take your time on this if you really are a perfectionist. When I was cutting them out for my rifle, I definitely went a little bit slower and it's also easier to cut it out when you're directly above it instead of kind of off to the side with the camera here. So here's a cut piece and then I'm going to go ahead and grab a finished piece and I'll show you what the paper looks like. Uh, most of the actual pieces out of the paper I used up on my Mosin video, but it's cool because you really get a two for one. You can use the actual pieces that you cut out. You can stick them on to whatever you want to paint if you want, uh, you know, to keep whatever colors underneath this the same. So if you had a black rifle, you, anything you put this over would stay black and then you could paint it OD green. Uh, or if you want, you can actually just use the actual piece of paper. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to show you a finished paper here. Okay, so here's one of the finished papers. Uh, you know, it, it takes maybe about 30 minutes or so to go ahead and finish an entire sheet. And the best way to really knock these out is to get your significant other, your child or a friend or somebody uh, to cut out a sheet. So if you have a couple people cut out a sheet, then you got enough sheets for your for your whole thing. That's, that's what I did. I had my wife cut out a sheet and then uh, one of my friends cut out another sheet and I did about two of them. So, and that gave me plenty of stencils to use for my rifle project. Uh, and as far as actually using them, you know, you just peel off the backing and stick it directly on to uh, whatever it is that you're going to do. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, it's pretty simple and it's a pretty fun project to do. So go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. So at this time I'd like to say, God bless America, long live the Constitution, and thanks for watching.